Good morning, beloved Salt Block Ministry prayer partners, and happy whatever day you're opening this today. And thank you, thank you, thank you for your prayers, your faithfulness to pray for Salt Block Ministries and our partners all over the world. And it's a good time to remember, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the gospel, beloved. And Salt Block Ministry exists to equip indigenous Christian leaders in developing nations to fulfill their calling, to spread the gospel where they live. And that happened in 2020 in several countries different than we had done it before. We only took one mission trip in 2020. That was in January down to Peru. And of course, with the virus, the ministry took on a brand new expression, one that we did not uh, consider, but God led us to do. And I want to talk to you about it because this is what, uh, this is the result of your prayers in 2020 and your contributions. Of course, in Uganda, uh, where we've been working since 1998 with that group of pastors, they, they formed their own ministry called Tree Life Ministries Uganda. And uh, Beth and I wrote our first little book Salt Block, Heartwarming Stories from a Cowboy Pastor. And uh, the uh, income from that book and contributions, we formed our little 501c3 Salt Block Ministries in 07 and, uh, and helped, along with other partners, the Tree Life Ministry form their uh, Bible and Trades uh, school, a college for uh, pastors. Many of them don't even know how to read when they would get there. Spend one week a month there in Egong at their headquarters, and after 12 weeks, they would graduate, get a bicycle. The women wanted it, so they started there. There, the second week, the women would come. They get a sewing machine, but learning Bible and languages and uh, health, good health and medical practices and a trade of some kind. And then the clinic that they have there, it grew out of that. And then the College of Pastors for the many graduates after several years. And that ministry has continued to grow. And this last year, they moved up into northern Uganda, up in a place called Lira, actually a Chulawich. And I've taught there uh, before the virus hit back in uh, uh, 20, 2018. And, and those pastors, they speak a different language. They speak Ocholi. And they wanted a Bible and trade uh, school. And so that was able to get started even under the quarantine before it hit. And then just recently, as, as the uh, curfews and some of the quarantine has been lifted, they've started, uh, uh, started meeting, built a building there for them, a simple structure. I believe you saw a picture of it last month in the email. And uh, they've continued. So the work in Uganda has grown. Well, the new thing that's happening there uh, this year is the translation of our Bible study material that I wrote when we were in Kingsland. Foundation, seven-week Bible study for new believers. Uh, growth, seven-week Bible study, a little more in-depth for maturing believers. And then fruit a whole lot more in-depth, seven-week Bible study, five days a week for seven weeks, 21-week Bible study, each day reading a psalm. And so they read the, all of the psalms during this 21 weeks and uh, the Gospel of John in foundation and then the rest, of the, the rest of the New Testament in the other 14 weeks. So at the completion of this 21-week study, Bible study, five days a week. They read the entire New Testament and Psalms and Proverbs. Well, we got this translated in 2020 into Lugandan, there for the Bible and Trade School, College of Pastors, and the new extension college, uh, uh, new extension Bible and Trade School in Lyra. Now this is being printed, distributed to the pastors taught in their churches uh, Bible study materials along with Bibles. 
2021, we're calling it the year of the Bible. And we want to distribute as many Bibles as we possibly can all over the world. And Salt Block Ministries it wants to do that as well. Well, also, in, with our, our partners in Peru, we started sending uh, this Bible study, and it uh, will be translated into the Quechua language, the old Inca language of the mountain people of, of uh, Peru. Uh, the translator that I've been using and, and partnering with, uh, helping me to, to teach there in uh, 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 Ayacucho, uh, is a Quechua and a brilliant lady. And she has agreed to begin translating the 21-week Bible study, one booklet at a time, typing it, printing it, and then copying it for the pastor's that we have been teaching there because we still can't we still can't go there. Peru has really hit hard with uh, COVID. Also in Nicaragua, remember I took uh, started going to Nicaragua in 2018, and uh, the lady that uh, uh, my translator there, brilliant. Oh God, arranged all of this before the before the virus hit. Highly educated and. Uh, a translator for diplomats, she started getting the materials, has already translated all three uh, booklets, now uh, copying them and getting them to the pastors with Bibles into their churches. And then, of course, uh, our, our Bible study. I was able to, in Kingsland, I was able to do a lot of writing and I, here is volume one of the first five books of the Bible and the, of the Old Testament and the first five books of the New Testament. So the Pentateuch, along with the Gospels and the Book of Acts, is in this a six-day-a-week Bible study, along with, uh, at the end of each week, a, a lesson plan for small groups and a sermon outline. Good grief. This is being translated now in Uganda, uh, in the Lugandan language, and we will get it in 2021 to our other translators to have this material with Bibles for our partners in Peru, in Nicaragua, and in Uganda in the two places. And this is what you have been praying for, and we will continue to pray, and your gifts go toward paying that translator to do that hard work, as well as making copies. Well, one of the young pastors went through the college, went through the Bible and trade school, went through the College of Pastors, was invited to a pastor's conference in Kampala. You remember that from my last month's newsletter. And uh, so the, uh, the, the three booklets had already been translated. He took copies, and we were able to make copies for that pastor's conference in, in, in Kampala. And uh, the testimony of those pastors, they invited him back. There were some pastors from three other areas in Uganda that now have planned pastor's conferences for him to come and lead and teach with this material for pastors in other locations. Beloved, the work of Salt Block Ministries has, has taken off with translating Bibles. I can't go. I still can't travel. But, but getting this material that we have taught into the hands, translated into their language, into their hands for them to make copies and have copies for their churches, the teaching that God has poured into my life over 38 years now, written now in the hands of these these amazing translators, and they are getting that word out. And then, of course, our medical student that we've been supporting in Haiti, going to medical school in Dominican Republic. Dan worked with him. He was his translator on a mission trip down to Haiti. And uh, right before Dan left, Vanel just simply said, I have a request. Dan said, what is it? He says, I want to learn to do what you do. 
and boy, he got all of the paperwork, and he's been in medical school now for a couple of years. Of course, it's all online with COVID. I wanted to bring you a personal account of what you've been involved in in 2020, and I pray that you will continue to be involved in in 2021. It could have been in a long email, but I wanted you to hear my voice. I wanted you to hear our gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank God for you and thank the Lord for your partnership with Salt Block Ministries. And God willing, it'll continue to grow and spread for His glory, for the glory of Jesus Christ, and for our joy and peace and strength. And so we pray that God's blessing of safety and health and peace and joy be yours today and every day in 2021. In the name which is above every name, we pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen and hallelujah.